द हिडन ब्रेन बाय शंकर वेदांतम अनलाइक अवर नॉर्मल कॉन्शियस ब्रेन विच इज लाइव एंड टेंजेबल द अनकॉन्शियस ब्रेन रेफर टू इन दिस बुक एज द हिडन ब्रेन इज इंटेंजिबल एंड एल्यूसिव फ्रॉइड सेट द माइंड टू एन आइसबर्ग विद अ टिप बींग द कॉन्शियस माइंड and the bulk of it under the water being the unconscious mind this is significant as it implies that most of mental work is done by the unconscious mind some psychologists believe that only 25% of our mind's work is accomplished by our conscious mind the contents of the unconscious mind have been somewhat of a mystery freud thought it is a reservoir containing our feelings concerns fears and memories which are outside the scope of our awareness how can one access this unconscious mind one way is through psychoanalysis as freud has done using the power of reasoning and allowing several sessions to unravel a patient's background this book is a exploration of the subconscious or the id the unconscious mind is absolutely unavailable to us except as we find ourselves thinking and doing things our rational brains won't do this is the level which clever political operators manipulate us to support policies we otherwise would oppose or believe what they want us to believe they are hidden because biases rise from our subconscious without our conscious awareness most people are not consciously racist or sexist but they do have hidden biases of which they are not even aware the author says the mind is hardwired to form association between people and concepts the hidden brain is the voice in our ear when we make the most important decisions in our life but we are never aware of it the hidden brain decides whom we fall in love with and whom we hate we think of ourselves as rational deliberate creatures and that the foundation upon which we build our world according our world. to various studies most of our time was wasted by us on autopilot in many ways this is a great thing senseless cognitive mechanism permit us to drive the globe smoothly from the moment we are born however this comes with some little positive side effects after making a silly mistake it is not uncommon for a person to say oops i was on autopilot conscious and unconscious pilot and autopilot and we are constantly switching back and forth between the two the problem when we switch without our awareness and the autopilot ends up flying the plane when we should be flying the plane the autopilot mode can be useful when we are multitasking but it can also lead us to make unsupported snap judgments about people in the world around us we tend to think of the conscious messages that we give children as being the most powerful education that we can give them but the un conscious messages are actually far more influential for every 50 times a year a teacher talks about tolerance there are many hundred of implicit messages of racial bias that children absorb through culture whether it is television books or the attitudes of the adults and kids around them and it is these hidden association that essentially determine what happens in the unconscious mind of these children most of us would agree that there is a clear and even obvious connections between the things we believe and the way we behave but what if our actions are driven not by our conscious values and beliefs but by hidden motivations we are not even aware of everywhere there is a found proof of a hidden brain it was demonstrated that how human beings react favorably at that times they sense compatibility with others it is the hidden brain that guides kids to create senseless racial prejudices people are ready to identify faces knowing my mother gives us food and security and thus her face become a representation of security 
Our talent to recognize faces in our ethnic group assists us to orient ourselves in a particular culture. Sadly, it is this senseless evolutionary feature that means we can distinguish faces less from foreign ethnic group. It was discovered that racial bias began at a surprisingly young age. In the study, it was discovered that 70% of children associate almost per positive descriptor with white faces, while negative adjective associate black faces. It is senseless prejudice that affects political choices. There are few people who recognize themselves as racist. However, just like children, Senseless racial prejudices are created by adults based on associative patterns in the globe around them. It is the hidden brain that occurs in racial inequalities in the criminal justice system. It is the fact that racial prejudices affect the criminal justice system, which may be obvious to some black Americans. Still, for many white people, that means a complete redesign of the criminal justice system is to accept it. It is a senseless prejudice that sabotages women in the expert globe. Many women progress in their careers thinking less valuable than their male counterparts. People who follow group trends are disaster sufferers. The hidden brain is a book about how to take back the control.